so Salary Man got delayed. <gasps> yeah. Oh, and Pixel Rip got delayed. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. Oh, no. We still have to do a games cast. What? That's uh, not delayed? This is the weekly <laughs> wrap up. <laughs> Gamescast we record every Tuesday afternoon at midnight, then we bring it to YouTube every Wednesday as the weekly wrap-up. That's this thing right here. You found it. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Watch out, Fluffy. Beat Tribble's coming for you. <laughs> Put your feet up. Mom's trying to vacuum. That's <laughs> right. Oh, I got a vacuum today. I got a vacuum. Fuck. Yeah. I threw away my vacuum every Thursday. It's PlayStation <laughs> VR. Theater. Theater. And every Friday, if you were takeover, when we let you, the loyal Gamecats, wow. let you take over the show. Disclaimer. <laughs> yes, the disclaimer. disclaimer. It's like a it's micro a... machine when you read this. The micro machine guy. I, I want to read the disclaimer, <laughs> but my pocket's vibrating like nonstop. It is. A it's cute. driving me insane. Stop oh, it's it. a call. It, it's a sales call. Disclaimer: yeah. The weekly wrap up is part and parcel of the Midnight Games Cast. I hope it's pizza. That's <laughs> guilty by association of being a conversational <laughs> podcast. Meaning that this is our chance, us three over here, and you out there, the loyal game cats, we're wow. to hang out, to talk, and have fun. If you do not agree with the above terms, as stated by PSBR LLC, then please exit the aircraft underneath the illuminated signs on either side of the theater, or drag your little slider at the bottom of the screen ahead, roughly eight God goddamn damn God. minutes. Damn it. As always, my name's Brian Paul, and to my right, your left, the king of all VR kings, the sofa king himself, it's Jeremy. Gang. Hey. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. Referencing Batman, I've always wondered, because all these superheroes in all of their suits, you randomly get erections once in a while. How do you hide it? So Batman, that must be painful. And if you're Superman, everyone not knows it. What? So do you have any comments random. on how... Do you, do you think when Superman is like carrying Lois Lane, flying off into the sunset, yeah. he's got a boner? No, Probably. maybe not all the time. I would hope he'd get... I would think so. It might no? take... Yeah. I mean, what's she wearing? <laughs> yeah, but it's got to take Sexy more for him to right? get an erection than Man. just... She's wearing like a winter around. coat. He's like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Flaccid. Yeah. Don't kiss my neck, Lois. I, uh, would that change his flight pattern? <laughs> like a rudder in the water. <laughs> <laughs> to my left, you are right. <laughs> the one, the only, Michelle Barracchione. Hey, guys. Hey. Welcome back. <laughs> the one a rudder. Only. One and yeah. only. Do a take. Dude, we. I God. had that in my head like all yeah. week. Seriously, God can. I was walking was around the restaurant awesome. all weekend long singing God can's viewer takeover song. Right. I can't even you say were. it right you anymore. You were singing it I, on I have Saturday. To say, I have to say it. Viewer, viewer takeover. Take over. Yeah. I can't even say it. And I like the viewer coffee takeover. sips too. The casual coffee sips. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Uh, and every week um, on uh, on Midnight Games Cast, I have well, no Where are we? What are we doing? We, we, I don't know. Uh, yeah. we, we, we sit around and talk about video games, PlayStation Sometimes. VR games specifically, but it usually takes us quite a while to get there, as we mentioned Roughly. earlier. Yep. Uh, eight, eight, to, eight to 12 goddamn minutes. Roughly. Yeah. But this little housekeeping <laughs> we want to take care of first. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and uh, first and foremost, I think we guys want to make sure you click like. Uh, because you know, it's never enough likes. No, never enough likes. Never. Also, mm-hmm. never enough subscribers. Make sure you click no. subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, although I'm not sure if this is going to be the show to convince you to do so. But hey, keep in mind we do a lot of other things so. on this channel as well. I there hope is so a lot. Too. Yeah. I hope yeah. so too. Try not to vomit in your coffee. No. Can, can you can you try not to do that? Yeah, sir Why or madam. Why would they do that? I don't know. People are gross. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, make sure you head on over to the uh, to our community on your PlayStation 4. It's called PSVR Without Parole Game Cats. Game Cats being all one word. Wow. I beat you to it. You did. Uh, and go say hello uh, to our, uh, our community manager over there, uh, or community moderator, I guess. He can be both. Why yeah. can't you be both? He can manage and moderate at the same time. He can. Dr. Doom. Dr. So Doom. so awesome. There's an extra O in his name. Doom, yeah. Doom, yeah. Doom. We don't, we don't pronounce it properly. It it's should be Dr. Dr. Doom. Doom. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you uh, go introduce yourself over there. Um, Sixteen hundred strong. Uh, it, it, if you Doing like, it. that's the deal. If you like commenting on our videos, just keep in mind the, the conversations on the videos last maybe a day. Yep. But over mm-hmm. there in the community, it's a running conversation that lasts all the time. Yeah, lasts all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. <laughs> 
Uh, what do you think? Should we talk about some uh, PlayStation VR games? I Might think that's well. probably a good idea. Started yeah. off quickly this week, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I'm, the co- I'm still waiting for like the coffee to kick in. Four goddamn minutes. Oh, Jesus, I've already had a pot minutes. of coffee. Oh, really? I had a hot, half a cup at like 6.15, 6.25, somewhere mm-hmm. around there. Two cups here, at 7 a.m. here we are at midnight. Yeah, that was you'd, right. You'd think it would be worn off by now. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. The it sun, sun's awfully bright out sun's there considering little, yeah. it's midnight. Well, well it's always sunny in yeah. Worcester, Mass. Some people still don't listen when we talk. They're like, yeah. Do, do, so do you guys record all three segments I of the games it, cast yeah. at the same time? And I'm like, let me just read. No, we just always wear the same clothes. I saw his answer. <laughs> although like, although week after week, I think I do wear the exact same clothes. I think clothes. so. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Just hanging out over there. And, the hair know. is kind of spiked in different yeah. directions. Hair's all over the place. So. I don't know what I'm doing. People complimented me on my hair on the breaking news report last night. And I was like, I just took shit and pushed it back. Everyone's like, oh, your hair looks great. And I was like, well, let's try it again. Yeah. No promises. Nice. No idea what's going on right yeah, now. I've given up on mine. It's okay. I never know what's going on with my hair can, either. Can we see it? Oh, it's all squished down because it's not curly see because it? I put I, it I on. Much better without the hat. I do like it. Yeah. I just put it on and squish it down. You should see like an hour and a half see, after I get out of the shower. now we're making it to eight goddamn minutes. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Much out, Fluffy. I'll take it off. Uh, right, housekeeping. So, so, uh, <laughs> so last week on the PlayStation Store... Uh, we got like nothing. No, not much. It was pretty much yeah. nothing. Like the Apex Construct demo came out, uh, but yeah. it, was, it was it was a pretty poor showing for PlayStation VR games, which was nice because I get to get caught up a little bit. I get to do a top twenty list. That was yep. fun and interesting. We got mm-hmm. to do. Well, I, I got to sit well, you and edit to... for fucking twenty hours. Yeah. I liked you. Uh, you did it with the speaking like, and then black and white and then. Brian speaking texted and us color. and he was just like, "All right, cool. I spent like." 12 hours and I got like five minutes done of editing. Five seconds. <laughs> it was, uh, so it took me two hours to get the first 20 seconds done. Because, oh my God. because when you go into these things without like a vision, yep. right? Like I, I filmed everybody separately so that like I could do whatever I wanted to. Yeah. Right. And then I was like, then I was sitting at my computer going, I wonder if I could do this. And it took me two hours to get the first 20 seconds done. And I was like, that was great. But that was 20 seconds. But that was 20 <laughs> seconds, and this is a 10 minute video. Yeah. Uh, so Screwed. I basically I promised myself I wasn't going to go to bed that night until I finished. And 7 a.m., I finished, I wow. went to bed. It was awesome. <laughs> a lot of coffee. Jesus. Uh, so, unlike last week, this yep. week is uh, a little bit different. This week for PlayStation this- VR, we got One Piece Grand Cruise. It's destined to be a classic. Destined. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> European territories got Animal Force, which I did a let's play of earlier today. Nice. Uh, Salary Man Escape, uh, which was supposed to come out today, got delayed until June 26th. No. Yeah. Pixel Rip 1989, one of our most anticipated PlayStation VR games, yes, that got delayed. Is. Yeah. Uh, it does not have a, a specific date yet, but we're thinking, uh, or they're thinking, uh, summer this year. So we'll hear more about that later. Star Trek Bridge Crew uh, got, their, got that DLC. Uh, mm-hmm. As of the time we're filming this, uh, it, it's still not available to be purchased, um, but it's apparently like 15 bucks for the next generation DLC. Uh, I'm not 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 thrilled about the $15 price tag. It seems steep, huh? Yeah, I mean, you yeah. already paid 40 bucks for the game itself. Yeah. Uh, and then 15 bucks for the On DLC. Top of that, yeah. Yeah, the deal is, is that it, it gives us an excuse to go back and play it. This is the DLC everyone's been asking for, so I'm not going to, like, complain about it too much, but right. I feel like the messaging was pretty poor on this. You know, when a game like Farpoint comes out over and over and over, and every piece of DLC, which is mm-hmm. pretty impressive DLC, yeah. uh, is free. Yeah. And then and Star then Trek comes out. And it's 15, like 15, yeah. 15. Right? And, they're like, and they're like, hey... Here, here's our DLC plans. Can't wait for it. It's coming out on this day, and then they just kind of like forget to mention the price. Oh, and by <laughs> yeah. the way, we're charging you. Right. I'm like, I'm pretty right. sure that got lost Better in the messaging be a somewhere. Damn right. Good deals. Yeah. Uh, which it's fine. You know, it's like uh, if we can keep supporting the games we love, yeah. then by all means, I don't mind spending a little bit of money. Right. But, That's but a lot it, of bit. Wasn't like. Mass Effect. That's more than he'll pay on a any game. The, in general, like, let yeah. Alone yeah. DLC. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Right. <laughs> Do you, you don't own Bridge Crew? No, I never played it. Oh wow. But, um, yeah, uh, DLC for like Mass Effect wasn't that like five dollars for like a bunch of missions, you know? Or am I mm-hmm. mistaken with that? I don't know, because I actually bought those and played them. But I mean, for five dollars, if I remember correctly, it wasn't within my price point, and I used to buy them. The first time I played Mass Effect was when the trilogy finally came to PS3. Oh, oh yeah, and so that was like. Oh, I thought everything. you didn't play Way Mass later. Effect. You yeah. did? Oh no, the first time I played it, I didn't get far. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Following. Bring it to VR, man. I'll fucking play the shit out of that. Oh, that'd be sick in VR, too. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. I'd play that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, but also today we got the Wipeout Omega Wipe Collection out. demo. Demo, nice. And uh, it's something that a lot of people have been asking for. Inexplicably, we, how many times do we have to tell you just to buy the game? Uh, but it was it's worth it. You'll like it. You know, the game was forty yeah. bucks when it came out, and now it's down to twenty. So it's mm-hmm. like it's a no-brainer. It is one of the best, if not the best, PlayStation VR game out there. Oh, it's crazy. It's, I, I'd say just skip the demo and go buy it. Yeah. Uh, if you're worried about motion sickness, then. Well, play the demo. Try the demo. I don't know. What, what can I say? It does give you that sensation, you know? It's so awesome. You know, and you, you still get that, oh, uh, but you still want to do it. It's like, I'm going to be sick, you know, and it, it's awesome. I didn't play. Did he play? Yeah. Apparently I own it. he played. He played. Yeah. Right I'm surprised. Yeah. Nice. It's crazy. But, but here you are talking about dead bodies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you should talk about your wipeout experience and your should we or shouldn't we. I think I did because that was like months ago. That being said, what do you think, Michelle? <laughs> I think we should begin this episode the way we begin every episode with a little game of should we or shouldn't we. We put 90, nice. 90. not 60, 90, 90 seconds on the clock. my favorite number. Clock up on the counter the way that Jeremy likes it. Boom. When did that first come about? How what? did that come about? I don't know. The way that Jeremy likes it. I, I don't recall like... Every single joke we make on this show has some mystery origins. Really? We, 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 I we, wonder if somebody, I wonder if one of the game cats... Remembers when that first happened. We can't even we can't even find the first mention of GameCat. No, I, it, I feel, way back though. I feel like maybe the conversation happened off camera about about the uh, like hey you know probably who, who we were probably who like working or something. The word games cast it was and, round and table days. It was way back then. Remember the round Come on, higher table? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michelle there. That was you two here, tables here. ago. Because I remember that was two, two tables ago. I remember the incident That's when crazy. it first happened. I still yeah. have that That's table. Crazy to think. There it is. I see the table. You see it? Yeah, it's way out there. Yeah. And we have yeah. 90 seconds to tell you what we have been playing control. or watching yeah, and whether you, yeah, the game cat, should be playing or watching it. as well. <laughs> Who would like to go first? Who would like to go first? On your mark, Michelle. Get set, uh, Michelle. And Michelle, go, go. Michelle. Uh, well, yesterday I played Bravo Team. Oh, um, Bravo Team. With an aim controller, perhaps? I played only with the aim controller, so and as showing you how it's done. and I as when I, got I was the text. playing the yeah. aim controller, I was like, Jeremy, Hold how did you block. not play with the aim controller? I don't even understand how that worked. Um, it was great to actually use the aim controller again. I haven't really picked it up since uh, can't be since Farpoint. I don't know. Um, what was the other one that something else came out that we played it with? I don't know. Anyways, I played Brawl Team. It was okay. Mm-hmm. Um, took me a while. I didn't figure out at first how to move and then i realized like oh i can't actually freaking go forward and do things and um i played for like an hour and then was like all right yeah whatever um so it's a eh. is it, is it shouldn't we or should we it's a eh, okay maybe. it's a maybe I liked it. it's a maybe you, you liked it I um i also played um one piece grand cruise which is ten dollars um about 40 minutes of gameplay um I never watched One Piece, so for me, that was probably a shouldn't we, um, but I'm sure people who were into the anime will definitely like it a lot. Um, Do you, though? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if it hits home for some people, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It definitely wasn't my style, that's for sure. Yeah, um, I also played more Cool Painter. Uh, I played more Marvels. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Right. Wow. Cool Painter is so fun. I did an awesome Bob, Bob Ross painting, but I had it all come out and then like fog over here all, all in my forest and it was great. Fog in your forest? Fog in my forest. Clear it was that fog awesome. out. Let the light in. <laughs> yeah. So can I view still those figuring paintings? Out how to, um, I still figuring out how to do that and still figuring out how to um i i don't know how to like just draw regularly like i need to watch some let's plays or something um, i think you can upload your uh, your images if you, if you save them on your ps4 i think you can upload them to the community and oh, we wow. can share that's them what there. i would like to do yeah. that'd be neat yeah. yeah yeah i've definitely seen some people uh, in the community share theirs i saw a, okay. a star trek one i saw yeah quite a few different i'll probably people message you really later talented. and we'll figure out how to can do you actually load up their painting if you own the game and like walk into it you know and like see it currently i i think or add to their painting right now that'd be awesome the way you have to do it is save it to your usb drive yep uh so a usb thumbstick bring it to your computer upload it to the cool painter site and Mm. then i think there's a place there where you can share things but currently no i don't think there's i don't think there's in so it requires a lot of effort 
Yeah, a lot of effort. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, so some of the paintings that I've seen that people have done, I just have no idea how they did that. Like, yeah. it's insane. They're cool, cool, huh? They're well, so good. But the cool thing about cool painter is, is that... Yeah, I didn't mean to say that. But, <laughs> but you did. <laughs> when, when, when you start when you like start zooming in and you're looking real close, you see that these beautiful creations are done with like the simplest like brush strokes. You're, yeah. like, you're like, oh, just like a different color here, like really made it look like a different texture or something mm -hmm. else. It's like everything's really easy. Um, but you, it just it's and you just figure out how to do like simple. smaller brush strokes and I mean when it you pull it up it only has the three options right now so right well you can, I got to play a lot around like, with it more you mean like the thickness of the brush yeah, yeah correct that's, that's all the yeah. trigger related so like that the the more you push down the trigger the wider the brush is so if you just hold it down slightly you have a really really that's fine line information I could have used huh. well, you know that's what I'm here for Very and you can do good. it on the fly uh, like the games a cast thin. informing people left I and right up and down. I think the best part of Cool Painter, though, was that you can just grab it um, and bring it close to you if you want to do little images and yeah. um, details. It's Yeah, it's awesome. Huh. Pretty neat. Anyways, who would like to go next? I might as well. I'm really scared about this. <laughs> I, yeah. On your mark, get set, and go. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't had a chance to play God of War in over two weeks. Let's just put it that way. That's how limiting my time is. In that time I had, the... Netflix series that launched, I think it was two weeks ago, Evil Genius. It's just a four-part uh, little mini-series. Each episode's 45 minutes. I started it two weeks ago. I just finished last night. Let's put it that way. That's how limiting my time is. And this thing was incredible, this this documentary. It's a, it's about back in 2003. I only remember <laughs> a... Um, <laughs> The uh, person on the news who would rob the bank with a bomb strapped to their neck. That's like all I remember because, you know, 2000s, it was crazy time. So, anyhow. Um, <laughs> Is that official? Yeah, for yeah. me. So, the um, this documentary just followed the pieces of this crime from the, the bomb, you know, and this guy that, that claims he did not have anything to do with this bomb being strapped to his chest. He was going around to different places on almost like a scavenger hunt to find these four keys to release this bomb. Anyway, so a portion of this was to rob the bank to get money. Uh, cops rounded him, you know, and he's sitting there and, and the bomb blows up, of course, so he's dead. So that's right in the beginning episode. Spoilers? Spoilers. Well, yeah, right? <laughs> everybody knows that. That, that was on the no news. Idea. Okay. That was like a big portion and it just follows Were you watching the breaks. news in 2003? No, it was crazy times. <laughs> it was crazy, crazy times. times. <laughs> and stop. So what you're trying to tell me yes. is that Wipeout Omega Collection is totally a should be. Oh, Wipeout is definitely, absolutely. <laughs> it's awesome. Don't miss a beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Evil Genius, awesome. Also, should we? Yeah, and okay, I did is, see. I did see. And I'm sorry, I was only I half listening and half rolling my eyes. Um, my belt what, is that uh, tonight? Okay, I'll, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll make that um, is that uh, what are you trying to tell me? Yes. Sorry, I was only half paying attention. Is Evil Genius a series or a documentary? It's a documentary, documentary. but it's a, it, uh, spread over four episodes of 45 minutes okay. each. Good enough. It's I, awesome. I, I can marathon that. Yeah. Oh, easily. Cool. And uh, Deadpool Two was pretty good too. Talk to me about Wipeout. <laughs> Wipeout. Wait, 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 wait. Deadpool too? I did see that. All right, you ready? You ready for the the the, the J. Dow Jeremy reviews something one minute? Oh, <laughs> All right, but, just do but, the thing. Floating way over there. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. The the beginning portion is I'm sitting there watching it. I'm I'm feeling like uh, it's a little scattered. You know, they don't really have the groove like they did in the first one. The origin to the you know the end A to Z, if you will. So a uh, little scattered. I didn't know what it was going to be like. And then, you know, they introduce all these characters and there's a lot happening and then it kind of finds its way. It's definitely funny. There's a lot of humor. I thought the action was better in the first. I thought the first was definitely better. And the reason why is because I think it was unexpected what Deadpool was going to be like for a movie. And then it came out and it was like, oh, okay, you guys. And then it came out and uh, it blew the fourth wall like constantly, <laughs> you know. The, that fourth wall was broken through all the time. And they did it again in this one. Even was more. it as funny as the first one? I thought it was pretty damn funny. Yeah. This one. Action-wise, I think the first one was a little better. Okay. Story-wise, first one a little better. But uh, this one was still a should we. That's a spoiler-free review. Floating way over there. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. Brian, are you ready? Oh, I suppose I'm ready. On your mark. Uh -huh. Get set. Get set. Yeah. Go. All right. So um, so I was watching the, uh, the new season of Roseanne um, because wow. cause that, that's, what I, that's what I've done with my nice. life now. Yeah. I've been wanting to hear about this. Yeah, holy, holy crap, man! It takes Have some, you? It takes yeah. No, I watch. I marathon the entire thing. I've actually yeah. never seen Roseanne. 
Well, that's uh, the thing. Different you, era you. You, have to, you have to like the original show. You're not going to jump into this and go, oh, this is fantastic. Right? It's all nostalgia based. It's like, yeah. oh, here are these characters that I fell in love with 20 years ago. Yep. And, uh, and and this is, and I'm so glad that they're back. And here they are all grown up with their like own kids and bullshit. John Goodman. It, except this is, this I think has an air of quality where Full House is just <laughs> fucking garbage. Yeah, titties. Um, yeah. I mean, not, who said titties? I don't know. So let's, let's but, but let's talk about Animal Force for a second because Animal Force came out uh, in European territories today uh, and it is a tower defense game for PlayStation VR and uh, apparently not coming to the States yet. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's it's man it is it is budget as hell but it's adorable as hell as well uh it looks cute it's very strange man it's like you 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 just kind of use one move controller and you've got alien attacking aliens attacking the planet and you have to like let your dudes kill the aliens yeah right? so you place them in the right place and uh you can you can like pick them up or drop them right. uh sometimes they're getting shot at so you have to like grab them and move them out of the way it's are it, they animals they are they it's it's animal force okay right and uh and they all have different abilities, just like in any other tower defense game. One produces shields, and, and one will slow down the enemies, mm-hmm. and one just fires at the enemies. It's all it's all pretty basic. What type of animals? God, uh, I want to say the first one I got was a, a panda bear. I was thinking panda. I swear to God. Wow, what did he do? Uh, he, was he, he defense? He, he was just a doom, 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 doom oh, shot. Oh, really? Like the, the typical, like, like range. So yeah. what you're saying is Roseanne is a should we. Roseanne is a should we if you've seen the show before. <laughs> Anything with John Goodman in it, uh, I would say. Yeah, and it's yeah. funny because yeah. uh, I think on this show before, I've been like, isn't John Goodman dead? And we had this whole conversation That's about, right. is John Goodman dead? Yeah. And so the show starts up, and him and Roseanne are laying in bed together, and uh, and, 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 and they both wake up, and he, and, uh, and she's like, I had a dream you were dead. And he goes, why does everyone think I'm dead? <laughs> so apparently it's not just us. Okay. Everyone, yeah. everyone thinks it's that It's like John when Edith dead. died in uh, All in the Family, and then it became Archie's place where he opened up that bar. Bah. Yeah, I don't think that lasted very long. No, it didn't. Yeah. Hmm. Man, <laughs> those, those were the days. <laughs> oh, yeah, great yeah. programming. Mm-hmm. That shows if you guys are still watching. <laughs> Animal Force uh, is, is cheap-ish. Um, I want to say it's like 12 pounds for people who spend fake money over there overseas um <laughs> it's it's t- it's a tough call because because we've talked before on, on on theater about about games that are fun when, when they're easy and yeah. as soon as they get difficult you're like i'm out yeah because like, yeah. there because there are some games that get difficult that and you're like last week we were talking about that. Right, there you go that's probably yeah. why i'm thinking of it because i can't remember shit longer than that far ago <laughs> um those were words yep now but they work though except the thing is is like it's there's it's a ton of games that when it gets more difficult you like want to rise through the challenge and you want to like be really good at it yeah mm-hmm. right you like I want to be good at this game but there are some games that you're just like this is fun while it's easy and then it, then later it's not yeah usually it's when it, when it starts off easy and you're like all right I can just relax and play like yeah. cool this is uh this starts off very easy first couple <clears throat> levels and the very first boss you're like fuck like I I tried the first boss three times and I died mm-hmm. every time and I was like I don't really know if I have the strong desire to come back and beat this boss. Yeah. So uh, it's a it's hmm. it's a how much do you like tower defense games? Should we? Right. Cool. I'm not I'm not I'm not in love with them. Yeah. Right. I hear you. Pixel Junk Monsters was probably the one that really got me and that was the beginning and end of that. This Corix tower defense maybe. I don't know. I'm always getting real time strategy and tower defense. Right? Yeah, real time strategy I dig, but tower defense I'm not a I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quirks was good. Play Quirks instead. Quirks is other people. Be. Wipe out yeah. Omega Collection. Should we? Very should we. Should we? Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear it ranks pretty high on the top twenty list that no one liked. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody's favorite game was missing. They commented I, on it. Yeah. Everybody's favorite game was missing, and everybody had a different favorite game. How yeah. could, how could this game not be on your list? Well, because, because you guys see, are terrible. You see the comment below yours that also is missing a game, and the comment below that that's also missing a game. You guys out there created your own top twenty list yeah. of games that should have been on our top twenty list. I, I like Do you remember the, in the, the Jeremy day? comment of Did Jeremy even finish Resident Evil? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's let's talk about the top twenty list for a second. Sure, yeah. um, it is. Uh, it was it was fun. Mm-hmm. It was fun to do. Yeah, uh, it was fun to see all of these games together, like in one video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and that was sort of the extent. The fade out gray was pretty cool. I liked yeah, that. I dug that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, uh, it was, and that's sort of the extent of how much I care about um, the games that are on this list, mm-hmm. right? Because the games on this list are meant to be representational of, of the fun you can have with PlayStation VR. If your favorite game wasn't on the list, it's totally fine. Yeah. 
it's one of our favorite games too. If it was a top 30 list, all of our favorite games probably would have made it. Right. Yeah. No, we still would have missed some. But but that's the thing. It's like somebody commented, they're like, I spent over 100 hours with Dirt Rally. And I was like, awesome. That, def- yeah. that definitely that's... would have been number one on your list then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, But I spent 20 hours with Dirt Rally. I yeah, loved every second of everybody's it. Everybody's going to have a different list. Yeah. 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 And, and honestly, if which you, actually isn't a problem. If no. you ask me tomorrow what my top 20 PSVR games are, it's gonna. It might be different than the Slightly top twenty different. I gave yeah. you guys last week. It's yep. like right. it's always gonna change. And I think Dirt Rally is a phenomenal game. I think Rec Room is a phenomenal game. I think Eve Valkyrie is a phenomenal game. But 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 could I could I actually take Headmaster out? Like in this awesome original V game that really couldn't be done outside of VR. Could I could I really take that game off the list in favor of the other ones? I don't think I can because and I considered every single game. Mm-hmm. I've played every single game. Like, oh yeah, you fucking have. ridiculous. Legs. Yes, you have. So uh, <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> so, so again, like you know, I, I don't. I'm not like mad at anybody who's like you know pissed off at our list, but I am. I'm. I do want to like let you guys know that I, it's our just, list. <laughs> just be, well, and just because it's not on the list doesn't mean we didn't love it. Yeah. yeah, I think it's crazy. I got a top five. I, love, I personally I love have my head code of fifty one. Like, I mean, that's you know you games know. of all time, <laughs> right? And that's but that's just me. So yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people were surprised to see some of the games that made it high on the list, like Preda. You know, yeah, I think, yeah. I think Preda doesn't get the love it deserves, and and you know, does it belong in the top ten? Is it half Diablo, half uh, what was it? <laughs> yeah, metric ton of grinding. Metric, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, Wraps up blow. the wrap-up. No, actually, we didn't even talk about the news of the week. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so let's talk about the news of the week. Let's Dreams. do it. As it turns out, Dreams, which was not getting uh, PlayStation VR support at launch, is now getting PlayStation VR support at launch. Wow. Hey. That's phenomenal. Yeah, that's, that's a huge it. deal. Uh, now now we just need to see how much support PSVR is yeah. getting in Dreams. Let's see. Uh, also, uh, Paper Dolls was announced. This is a game that I'm very much looking forward to. There's no release date for it, but it is a 15-hour Ooh horror game yeah i'm like that that's, that's fantastic 15 yeah. hours man sign me up as soon as possible uh rec room speaking of uh is getting a update june 7th that is the rec royale mode it has a uh, i want to say 16 players uh dropped into a map uh and they, and they, they duke it out wow yeah Oh, everything's getting a battle royale awesome. mode now. Yeah. And so Rec Room was like, hey, you know People what? People like that. We can fucking make this shit happen yeah. fast. <laughs> um, so uh, that looks like a lot of fun. Actually, they, they implemented this like new uh, backpack thing where you can like carry weapons and power-ups and stuff. And I don't know. It seems like, like Crazy almost shit. like a whole new game. Um, and on May 29th, that's next week, uh, PSVR next week, <laughs> we're getting Wraith finally wow. from Sin Studio. Yep. We're also getting Perfect Sniper from Sin Studio. Mm-hmm. We're also getting Along Together by uh, Turbo Button. Those were the guys who made Floor Plan. Uh, it's funny because just a couple weeks ago, uh, they, they posted something about uh, Along Together on Oculus. And, mm-hmm. and I responded on Twitter saying, hey, when do we get a PlayStation VR version? And they never responded. Oh. And now I know why. Yeah. Because we're getting it. Oh. Uh, and then apparently uh, in European territories tomorrow... Maybe today for some of you, mm-hmm. uh, there is a Zone of the Enders two VR demo wow. coming out. A which is demo, super exciting. Yeah, uh, intro trailer. Yeah, th- that game doesn't come out until September. We're getting a demo pretty early. Yeah, really. Uh, also, it's uh, available for pre-order, thirty bucks. September sixth. See, now that's a game Perfect. I would demo because I wasn't a fan of normal any kind of mech, even though this is a faster paced type of a mech mm-hmm. title. I wouldn't initially buy it just trying to see. Oh, maybe it's Zone of the Enders. Maybe I like it in VR. But that demo, I would totally. You get down with the out. demo. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Same with the Wipeout Omega. They should check it out. But uh, Zone of the Enders, I will try it if Wait, it releases. It's a Hideo Kojima right. game. I know, which you know would be great. Yeah. But still, mm-hmm. it's mechs. Yeah. 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 Cool. Mm. Yeah, Zone of the Enders one was like, eh, it's pretty good. But Zone of the Enders two was that's where it was at. Uh, and then for sales this week, I uh, I only found one game on sale, uh, and that is it's- Knockout League. Yep. $17.09 with PlayStation Plus. Uh, if you don't own Knockout League already, uh, for 30 bucks, I mean, I can see why some people might hold off and say, you know, it's a little pricey. Yeah. You know, but for $17.09. I've been cents, contemplating that. Like nine cents. Yeah, no, absolutely pick it up. It's a lot of fun. It's quite the workout. People posting all the time about how they're losing weight playing this game. So I can be prepared to sweat. Sold. Sweating the oldies. <laughs> sweating that in the VR. Oldies. Richard Simmons. You know, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that 
wraps up the wrap up. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Perfect. All right, you guys. Uh, make sure you come back tomorrow for the uh, the best twenty minutes of your week. Yes, it's always longer than twenty minutes. PlayStation VR theater. theater. Uh, as always, I'm Brian. That's Jeremy. This is Michelle, and we'll see you tomorrow. I don't know any uh, Spanish. That's Spanish. I took French in high school. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>